Chicken Soup for the Soul, The Empowered Woman, because no matter how strong and confident we are, most of us could use even a little more of that feeling. And the stories in this book, which are from women of all ages and from all walks of life, are fascinating and inspiring, and they provide great tips, too, from women who found their own paths to happy, productive, and purposeful lives. Whether they did something scary, or they overcame a body image issue, or they took a stand for what was right, these women found their own empowerment. Wendy Ann Rich, for example, was shocked when she found her friend waiting outside a restaurant for her in the cold because she was afraid to go in alone. Wendy started wondering, how many things was she afraid to do alone? She actually wrote a list, but then she failed to do anything about it until she met a man in a wheelchair at the senior center where she volunteered. He asked her, what do you want to do that you always wanted to do but were too afraid? When he heard that her dream was to visit Japan alone, he asked her to do it for him. Wendy went and she says, I found myself good company for a whole month's worth of memories. Now, another area where most of us have trouble is body image. We don't like the way we look in a bathing suit or we think we need to lose at least a few pounds. And sometimes it keeps us from participating in activities with our friends or our families. Tanya Abari tells us that she had been avoiding Zumba classes even though she was a certified Zumba instructor. She says, I loved to move my body to music, but I had a loose tummy and thighs that jiggled. Finally, she forced herself to take a Zumba class and she had a great time and she also knocked down another barrier that had been holding her back from making new friends. She became a regular in the class. She made friends. And then when the instructor quit, Tanya stepped in and was hired to teach the class. And finally, we have a lot of stories from women who stuck up for their rights and overcame discrimination or sexual harassment. April Knight is one of them. She was a 45-year-old widow. She was raising four kids by herself. She really needed her job. And she says she wore bifocals and was 30 pounds overweight, but her boss still said that if she was friendly, he would promote her. He would accost her in the stockroom even, and he would try to kiss her and grope her. Finally, April called a lawyer and she sued her boss. Her family was embarrassed, her coworkers shunned her, but she was determined. And she ended up winning five years worth of wages. She says, going through the ordeal had been painful, embarrassing, exhausting, and scary, but I came out of it stronger, smarter, and no longer a victim. There are 98 more inspiring, empowering stories in this collection, and I hope you will love reading it as much as I loved putting it together. We're also very proud to be using this book to support a wonderful nonprofit organization, Dress for Success. We'll donate 40 cents for each copy sold to Dress for Success to help them in their mission to empower women all over the world.